What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a great day as always. So today's video we're going to be building the rear storage in the Jeep Grand Cherokee. As you guys can see, I forgot to film an intro, so this intro is done after I film the rest of this video. Basically what this storage is going to do is give us a spot to keep tools, coolers, um, spare parts for the Wrangler, and for the Grand Cherokee off-road. It's going to give us a place to keep everything without it rattling around, flying around while we're off-roading and all that stuff. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. So before we get too into this, let's go ahead and go over some of the stuff I picked up to get this done. So I actually have two sets of drawers for the 24 inch sliding ones. So these actually have a locking mechanism when they're fully pushed in so they won't come out without us wanting them to. And then they'll fully extend to outside of the Jeep so that way it's easy to access all the tools and everything we have there. I've also um, picked up a set of um, handles for the storage unit. I just went with this real clean um, steel look, pretty simple handle. It may change those out in the future, uh, but I got two of those for two drawers. And then I also have this hinge for an idea I had that is kind of dependent on how much space we have left once we're done with that. I also got two sheets of plywood. I got a fairly decent wood just because I didn't want this to be cheap. I think all in with the hardware and the wood, I'm in probably about 175, which is not too bad. So before we get too into this, I do want to go ahead and measure. My idea is to have it two inches beyond the cover for the um, where you're normally storing your spare tire. So I just wanna make sure that I have two inches at least on both sides, which it looks like I do on the driver's side. Let's check passenger. So it looks like I'll have enough room for two inches on both sides, along with a sheet of wood to come up the side for the sides of the box. So let me go ahead and cut some out of the wood. I also need the um, length measurement. So the issue I'm gonna run into is that these seats are slanted. So I'm probably gonna go with 34 or 33 inches in depth. So that way I don't have to angle the back of the storage. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the axle shafts and see how they line up and how they fit back here. Unfortunately, the axle shafts are gonna be just a little bit too long to fit back here without customizing it. Not a huge issue. I will put them up in the front, but we're gonna go with 33 inches because it's curved back here. So I wanna make sure I'll be able to shut the trunk and accommodate the angle of these seats without having to really customize this box too much once we get it built together. So now that I have all the measurements, I've gone ahead and drawn the template for the base of the uh, stand back here. So I went with 39 inches wide and 36.5 inches in depth. So let me go ahead and get that cut out. All right guys, so I did get the base cut out for this. Um, it actually turned out really well. I have room on both sides to fit a um, side piece that'll come up and hold the um, drawers themselves. So that worked out almost perfectly there. Um, and I also cleared everything I was worried about up here as far as shutting the trunk and everything there. So now I have to cut out the uh, two side pieces here and then I'll probably have a piece somewhere in the middle, but I do have to notch the back for the seat. So let me go ahead and get one of those cut out. All right, so we got the uh, first side piece done here. This is not attached or anything like that. It's just set in here for uh, mocking it up. And I did have to notch the back to accommodate for the seats. Not a huge deal, it actually looks fairly decent. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to trace this onto the piece of wood and cut out an identical um, copy of this so that way we have one for the other side. So let's go ahead and get started with that one. Now that we've got two of these cut out, we can go ahead and put them in the Jeep, mock it up and see how it's gonna look, um, see how these two line up with each other, make sure everything lines up right before we attach everything and get it all put together. So we'll go ahead and make sure the notch is facing backwards here. And then that one lines up. Now let's go ahead and make sure the notch is facing backwards on this one and put the other side in place and see how high this is. See, make sure I like everything before we get it all screwed together. I will more than likely also have a middle divider so that way I have somewhere to um, change the size of the drawers. I'll have two big drawers and then a small drawer and I'll also have possibly a slide out thing for my cooler. But let's go ahead and get that middle section cut out. So I've gone ahead and screwed everything together. I did end up going with a middle divider. So this side will be two bigger drawers for like um, toe straps, D-rings. This side will be a smaller drawer. 
and then also a spot for the cooler. So the cooler is gonna fit on this side pretty well. Um, it won't be sitting on the bottom like this. I'll have it above the drawer, but I'll have a, toe, or a tie down up front up here for it. And then I'll also have a tie down in the back, put a ratchet strap over top of it and it'll keep it sturdy because nothing's more annoying when that flops around. This side, like I said, two drawers, one drawer here. Next time you guys see this, we'll probably be building the drawers, getting that all set up, getting everything um, kind of figured out and finalized, but I was gonna finish it today. However, it is starting to get dark, so I do wanna wrap this project up. So as always guys, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.